Here we go. All right. All right, so we still here. We still here, and this battle continues as Garb rages. Damn. Kuzan. You bitch-ass nigga. You bitch-ass nigga, Kuzan. You a bitch, nigga. Whoa. Nah, their coordination as a team is ad admirable, though. Knowing, like, this almost reminds me of the Straw Hats, right? Because I feel like only the Straw Hats will pull such a bold move because Luffy's crazy. And Garp is the same way, right? Luffy's crazy. Garp is the same way to, like, send a, a boat flying in the air. Garp does a crazy attack. And then manages to still land in one piece. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, this is so crazy. And I love how he draws those similarities because they're really, like, yeah, they're really family. Like, Luffy's much like his grandfather, right? And I can't wait to see how much or how similar he is to his father too so garp is like yo this wasn't even my this I, you know what i'm saying this wasn't even my my best i've actually lost a touch and that's even that's wild like the fact that he's stronger than this and or was stronger than this whoa what the hell just happened please help Look at Garp's face. Wow, you bitch ass nigga. You fucking traitor. I thought you was a part of. I thought you was in sword. Now I look at you. It'd be a bad look if Kobe escapes while teaches away. Oh shit. Shit, 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 shit. That. Yo, that. I, for a minute, I thought Blackbeard was still here, right? Because we just had a conversation with him, blah, blah, blah. But now going back to chapter 1079, where we seen a Blackbeard ship was pulling up to Egghead. That may be, in fact, be Black Bear pulling up to Egghead right now, bro. If he's not here, right? If he's not here, he might be over there, bro. I like he's, I mean, all the admirals are pretty lit. I can't even say that any of them are bad, you know? And the fact that one went left and joined a bad guy, like, although I didn't want it to happen, it seemed like this might be, this might be for real. So they just started getting along like this. What? Because they bonded off the hate of a for a Kainu. The Commodore, what do you want to do? His power could be quite useful. Should we steal it? This nigga is crazy. You're going to say that in front of him? He'll fuck all y'all up. Hang on, Kuzan. My power's just being idiots. I wasn't planning on doing that, in fact. How would you like to join our crew? I feel like that's a real deal Luffy move, too. Hey, hey. You've got pirates all wrong. We ain't just a merry band of chums bumming around together we all profit from having our own agendas that's what makes us pro pirates okay you know i'm kind of getting more respect for blackbeard in this situation like he's not this is not a joking blackbeard this is not like him laughing this is him ha actually s seeing a value in what's in front of him and taking full advantage of that right and kind of explaining like yo you you might you guys might have had the wrong idea by pirates too that's what makes us pirates. You're free now. So what do you want to do? I actually fucking respect the shit out of Blackbeard for that. Like, I gained so much respect for Blackbeard, bro. My boy Blackbeard with the talk no jutsu right there. He just fucking rec recruited an admiral, bro. Are you serious? That's one thing. One thing that um I would want to know more of, though, is what is Kuzan's agenda then? You know, he says he has his own form of justice. What is that justice that you seek to accomplish? You know, following the likes of Blackbeard, you better unfreeze his body. Let us take Kobe and get your ass back in uniform. What the hell, nigga? Just oh, see, that's the wrong approach too. Like, hold on, no me, to nigga. I ain't no fucking marine no more, bro. Like, I decided to live life on my own terms. 10th captain of the Black Bear Pirates, Kuzan. Damn, bro. I hate to see it. I hate to see it. Oh, shit. My boy Gop going wild right now. Chokeslam this nigga. Okay, at first I was confused who he did that to. Or is that really him? But I love even the pep talk he gives to to uh, Kuzan. Like, he's like, yo, you, are, you shouldn't. Like, you lost your way. Like, you was... Wow, that that kind of gives me like 
okay, I'm not gonna compare it to Naruto, but it's funny how he's like has two pupils, right? That one seems to be to fell off the rock, like he fell off the 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 good train and ended up evil with the same teachings, right? And I feel like that's kind of natural given the way Garp takes matters into his own hand. And the Polar Tang, the Harp Pirate Submarine. Oh. Oh, no. No. What the fuck? Oh, my God. My heart's in my stomach right now, bro. Law is laid out. I don't know if he's dead, but it was a grand battle. I tell you that. Even Blackbeard's bleeding. Keep your paws off the captain. Well, let's go. Shout out to Chopper, bro. You don't be fighting that much, but you be coming in the clutch, nigga. Beppo went like it looks like Su Long, right? But like a four Su Long state, almost like his master point. It could be Monster Point, but it looks like Sulong. Long. So Chopper came up with a way to go Sulong. Long. Okay, Cocaine Beppo. Cocaine, I like that. I like that. Cocaine Beppo, I like that a lot. A humiliating retreat. Damn. That might have been the, the one of the best chapters in One Piece, bro. I'm not going to fucking lie to you. That might have been one of the... Like, I'm still like... Because it's like the drastic changes changes that are happening, right? The battles that we're seeing. What Oda was hinting at in terms of like somebody and who's going to die. Like, I don't think Law will die just yet. 1079, 1080, and 1081 are the best. Okay, I am obviously have a recency bias right now. I can't like recall like three back to back to back chapters that were this fucking good not revolving not like revolving around any of the the straw hats like yo this is just straight up like these are chapters that usually happen in between arcs right we're still we're still on egghead he's been like i ain't gonna lie like we got captain kid took a l and i think his captain kid it really seems like these L's are very similar to Luffy's L's back in Sabodi, right? Um, I don't know if that means they're going to have their time to come back like Luffy and Destroyer has did. Maybe they're done. I don't think Law is done. I think Law will eventually link back up with the Straw Hats. Because I think he's too he's too tied with the Pony Glyphs and, you know, the Will of D and... His, even his devil food, right? And the fact that he survived in this way with Beppo, it, was, it wasn't like this for, for Captain Kid. I think Kid's done. Law's not. And even the way they described, described it is very different than when they did with uh, Captain Kid, right? Here they said, um, led by Trafalgar Law, were soundly defeated. I'm pretty sure that they said the, the kid pirates were eradicated last time. You know, it's a, it's a huge difference in even that, um, in that shit. You feel me? So that was just a great ending of the chapter, right? But let's go back. Let's go back to Garp and Kuzan, right? Because Kuzan, you bitch ass nigga. Well, I, I'm not. I, I'm gonna stop calling him bitch ass niggas because. We still don't know his his intention all the way, right? And I'm actually surprised. Like, they they I feel like Oda is making him out to be like a really bad guy, but like, I don't think it's that quite simple to label him as that. What if what black? What if what Kuzan wants in terms of his agenda, right? Because we talked about agendas here. We talked about um, you know, living or obtaining or accomplishing your agenda through means of a pirate group, right? Kind of what we see with the Straw Hats and what we're seeing with the Blackbeard Pirates. They might have different agendas that might not relate to each other, but maybe if I'm a part of this crew, I can get my agenda done, even if it means being on Blackbeard's crew. I don't know what I don't know what Kuzan wants, right? 
But I do think that it ultimately is a good thing. That's really what I'm trying to say. And if he believes in Blackbeard will rule the world or whatever the fuck the case may be, then maybe he can enforce his way of justice on this guy's crew. You know what I'm saying? Therefore, helping the overall cause of the world. He, he's a very... I think Kuzan is a very complex character. And I can't write him off as just a bitch-ass nigga. So, I, yeah, I'm kind of mad that he ended up being like straight Blackbeard's side and not the double agent that we thought for now. Um, but I understand his point. And then we we see that Garb is also in full belief that Kobe is the next, is the future for the Marines and had to confront his pre- previous protege, Kuzan, who he says, right? Where is, where is it at? That... He's a weakling who lost his way. And for, you know, you know what's, what's crazy about that? In a, in a way, I don't really respect Garp in saying that because Garp isn't your norm, isn't your ordinary Marine, right? And like, yeah, he's in, he isn't your ordinary marine, and you don't really do things by the book. So in a, in a way, you you I I guess you manage to stay your way, but you're not. It's not the marine way, you know. So it's it's tough hearing that from Garp when he's never been about this way that he seems to be protecting right now. I just don't understand because I feel like Garp knows the truth. He under, he does, and he, he should understand that what the world government is doing, what the Marines are doing, ain't necessarily the right thing, you know? I mean, Garp let Ace get killed in front of him, bro. Like, where was this energy when... You know what I'm saying? Where was this energy to save Kobe? Like, the same energy he has for Kobe, where was that energy before? And I know he didn't want... I know it's, he's a Marine and shit like that, but that, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's not that clear cut for him to just call Kuzan a weakling. And I, I don't really... Re- I don't really like that pep talk he gave him, especially because your way ain't really the way that, you, you know, what you're dawning on your on your back, this Marine ain't really your way. You do it, you go about it your own way. Would you agree that Garp is not your traditional Marine? That's what I'm saying. Like, like even with Garp fighting alongside a pirate, you know what I'm saying? Back then with Roger, that wasn't a, a thing that, you would say it then when he would fought alongside Roger, right? And that's why they keep that stuff off the papers. Is you would say at that time he lost his way. I get what you guys are saying, and he he Garp is always Garp, right? In that sense, he has his own way, but it doesn't. I don't really feel like it always upholds the Marine way. That and that's what I'm saying. Like, and he's not a part of Sword. And all, I've also gained so much respect. I've been waiting for like. A Blackbeard moment like this too You know I live by A different definition of justice And I feel like that right there Is what Really Called to Kuzan You know I live by a different definition of justice And we know that Kuzan Has his own definition Because you know Marines telling him to kill To eradicate O'Hara To kill Nico Robin Right Which would inv- involve Saul but he, he realized that, you know, this this might not be what's best for the world. But, you know, the Marines are telling me to do it. I saved He saved them, right? He knew that his view of justice was better than Akainu's, right? And nobody, he had a fight to almost a death with Akainu to gain that position to, as Fleet Admiral. Maybe he felt like, yo... If my views on justice are a lot better than his, obviously, to, I feel like to readers it was, and I think for a lot of people in the Marines it was. It should have been, it should have been easy choice, an easy choice. He still didn't get it, so you know I live by a different definition of justice. That's what really sold him. That was the, uh, the lure. Now this is when he bite, he gets, gets him to bite. We ain't just a merry band of chums bumming around together. We all profit from having our own agendas. 
That's what makes us pirates. You're free now, so what do you want to do? So reminding him like, yo, you've never been this free, right? Even when you thought you was upholding some kind of justice, you weren't free, you were upholding somebody else's. Now that you're free, you have a different definition of justice, right? And you can seek that by being a part of a crew who is looking to benefit with their own agenda. And that's 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 a bar, bro. <laughs> that is a bar. And that is like that nigga could have sold me anything. I was at that moment if I was feeling like who's on, I was joining that pirate crew like this. Toshler side said, you gotta see he was stuck cause Ace chose his way and especially you seeing Marine 4, he knew it would save he would save Ace and he he called as a hero of Marine, then think about every Navy would lost hope and justice that hero betrayed Navy. Yeah, so you're saying basically if he had saved Ace, all the because everybody, because of the influence in the Marines, he would have lost face. But here's my thing though, like, does everybody in the Marines know that he fought alongside Roger to take down Rock's pirates, you know? Would they have, would they still respect him? If they knew that, that's why. But you don't think that it will be a lot different. Yeah, I understand he has to uphold the power structure, right? But it's important that he fought alongside Roger to defeat a greater evil. It highlights the fact that pirates ain't the real enemy like you're making them out to be. So, like, he, he's a part of this this propaganda, you know? And he's he's going alongside of it, so... I don't know that that that's a tough it's a tough situation but that's that's guard bro now I get that good pirates like Luffy or Shanks are rare yeah now I, I agree with that and I agree with that but let me ask you another thing if we knew about Roger because Roger wasn't a bad pirate either right if we knew about that like Roger spawned a whole pirate era and people didn't really know who Roger was like we do right if that ins if the information about that incident was to spread I feel like it would have spawned a different pirate era than the one we see now it wouldn't it wouldn't have been hoodlums and actually bad people would have I think it would have spawned more people like Luffy Shanks and Roger very personally because going after Hibari after there were there are rumors out there about Hibari being a kind of relative a kind of daughter that's what like what where, where like I don't want like, is it the eyes like I don't get like what are the these rumors like I don't I, Niggas, I don't know, bro. If that ends up being true, then niggas no older. Makes it seem like Blackbeard somewhat convinced Kuzan to follow his own dreams. It was like a weird spin on something Luffy would do. What? Yeah, bro. That's kind of what I was saying, right? It's like, yo, what the fuck? Like, that, I, I have so much respect for Blackbeard, bro. I'm someone who always goes back. I look at Smoker and Kuzan conversation. I'm like, yeah, there's no way. There's no way. But look at it, bro. It's it's actually he's actually. But my thing is that he can still be himself with the Blackbeard Pirates because he always had, like I said, remember he always has his own form of justice, right? Kuzan always has his own form of justice. He couldn't seek it through the Marines, right? Because they were opposing views of his own view of his own view of justice right a kainu um you know the the eradication of ohara that didn't align with what he wanted to do so i think his own vi vision of that is accomplished through blackbeard so he did i think he did actually join the blackbeard crew in attempts to envision his own view of, ju of justice so Crazy. Not a heartbroken because it feels like a tragedy is coming. It feels like Oda is making Garp look good initially to break him down later. But yo, that that idea just came to mind, right? Because I, I don't necessarily think that this fight between Kuzan and 
Garp is over, right? Like, we're bigging up Garp to kill him. We haven't seen him, right? We weren't going to do that at Shanks, right? Because this is the first time we're seeing him in full action, both of them real, in real full action. And there was even talks in the chapter, right? Kuzan says something interesting where your number one protege versus your new favorite. Can you kill one to save the other? You can't stop me like that, you dumbass. I thought I told you to live in the now. And I feel like that that right there, what Garp is saying, I thought I told you to live in the now. And then him saying to uh, Kuzan, um, listen up, Kuzan, only weakings lose their way. I feel like Garp has the wrong idea of what Kuzan is up to, right? You did tell me to live in the now, right? I didn't lose my way, right? Uh, I'm very much living through my way completely now that I'm not a part of the Marine. Because, again, go back to that conversation of my view of justice. Never aligned with the Marines. I can now accomplish that with the Black Bear. I'm living it out completely now. And ultimately, it's going to kill Garp. But the same things that you taught me, right? You taught me not to lose my way. And you told me to live in the now. And I'm, and I'm doing the ultimate version of that now. And in, in fact, it might kill Garp in doing so. So that that's going to be... I think that's really going to play out on some shit like that, yo. But unfortunately, I think Garp loses here. Garp is strong, and I'll say it here that I... There's no way, bro. This battle, this battle is the very one that Oda's been teasing, bro. Right? It, uh, it's, the, it's the one that Oda's been teasing about. This person's fighting this person, and this person might die? It's that battle, bro. It's that battle between Kuzan and Garp. I have no, like, cause it ain't, it ain't law. Law's alive. They might have teased that he could be dying, but nah, he's not dying, bro. And Eustace kid, although they're sinking, I just think they're dumb, but I don't think they're dead. Garp would make the most sense to kill off, bro. And like, like uh, Braga was saying, this would garner Kuzan up like he would have so much respect from Blackbeard and Blackbeard would never question his loyalty if given this opportunity maybe someone at Egghead dies but what what is the more what is more I don't think like when we talking about shock factor like, for him to say this person and this person's fighting like I didn't picture this is probably like the the most shocking fight in the last few chapters, right? After he, he mentioned that. This is probably like for him to say, this person and this person's fighting, like Shanks and Eustace Kid is not a shocker because Kid been been searching for Shanks, right? We knew one day it was gonna happen. It was amazing, it was an amazing thing to see. Blackbeard and, and uh, Law, now that was a bit of a shocker, but now we see the the climax or the ending to that fight. They they Law gets almost gets killed. The rest of the crew gets bodied or sunk to the bottom of the floor. They hint that they could be okay because they always make it okay, and him and Beppo swim them away. So on Egghead, Lu if Luffy fights who like who can Luffy fight? On Egg who can they fight on Egghead that's more shocking than the fight between Kuzan and Garp? I don't think anybody. Even if he fought a freaking one of the elders, it's not that shocking because we don't even know that nigga. If, if he fought a Gorose, it won't be that shocking. And that death wouldn't mean nothing. He fought, he killed a Gorose. Like, we didn't know him. You know what I'm saying? We didn't know him. We know Kuzan. We know Garp. I'm saying Gorose... Uh, Marines know him. But I'm saying us, the readers, for for Oda to tease us in a way that you know a big death is coming. If the girl, if one of the girls says were to die, like for readers, I don't, I don't give a. 
if Goros like die right now, nigga, I don't, I don't care, bro. Like, the, what, what did he really mean to the story? Garp, now nah, he, he, he is important to the story. But Garp has a, a way in which he feels like change can happen, and this change is through the Marines. For Aokiji, I think he's more motivated than ever. Because and that's where I disagree with Garp. I think he thinks that's the best way right now to for the change, but like he knows that there's other outlets out there to accomplish that. And I think he's standing in the way of that too. And that's why I kind of don't respect Garp in this situation. And impact the Marines by influencing the Marines, changing the culture in here. That's how I can make my mark. Okay, I agree with that. I agree with that. Um, and that's why, and I think that's, okay, that's a better explanation. But yeah, he's spitting right there. Not necessarily going and becoming a, a revolutionary and trying to take down the world government. But can you imagine how him and Garp, him and Dragon clashed? Because he has that one track mind of change occurs within. But for Garp, this and that's why I really don't, and him saying, um, Brago saying that, okay, Brago, I mean, um, Garp believes in change within, that makes more sense. And um, explaining. Excellent. Thank you for subscribing. That makes more sense in explaining Garp, right? He believes in change within. I just don't respect that as much as what everybody else is doing. And as much as what Garp has been exposed to, right? You know you can create more change doing it other ways. You've seen it. You've seen it. You seen the influence Roger had, right? Like, and you because you and you, all the changes that you want to do, you ha, sword had to be created in order to do something like that. And think about what these people even have to give up in order to be a part of sword. You know what I'm saying? Like, so that's why I maybe have a problem with Garp Demos is because I don't really agree with the fact that more change can be done within. You know. I think you're more restricted to make the changes. I think you have to compromise way more battling within than battling without the system because now you're battling a system using their rules, and that's a lot harder to do. So I think I respect him for doing that. He's a great character. Um, I just respect what others are doing more. So I'll put it like that. Because I think it's a very unfortunate situation that awaits Garp. He's the hero. She's going to triumph by saving everyone else, but I think a conversation with Blackbeard has to happen. But we'll talk about that. Guys, subscribe, like, much more to come. I got to go because I'm sad now. I feel him. Because it's almost like it's a guarantee. Well, not a, it's almost like they're setting us up for that, right? That's how I'll, at least I'll, I'll look at it now, you know? It's, so, it's almost like this is the, our, our big, our hero... He, and, and, you know, he is still the biggest hero if he saves Kobe, right? Like, if he saves Kobe, he's still the biggest hero because, to him, that's the future of the, Mar of the Marines. Um, but he might, this time, he might have to exchange his life for it.